sweet. I'm gonna go call outside, okay? It's too loud in here. So what's the deal, man? I thought you said you were gonna back off. I am. And why are you still here after your brother's heart left? Trust me, this is not about Star. I got your message loud and clear when you came by this afternoon to tell me to back off Star. What? Did you really do that? What was that kiss all about? Well, I thought about what you said, about how you were trying to change. And when you stepped down from teaching my class and told me that you wanted to move on with me, I was blown away. But then all that stuff happened with Jessica, and I was hurt and angry. But um, you were right. All that stuff happened months ago. For all I know, you really haven't gone girl to girl since then. I haven't, I swear. I believe you. You told me that you wanted to start over with me, that you wanted a real relationship. So my question is, did you mean it? Yes. <laughs> More than anything. Good. Because I want that too. family is going to have something to say about this, but I don't care. You sure? I mean, I've tried to deny my feelings for you, but I can't. If anything, it just makes them stronger. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Well, it's my choice, and I want to be with you. You really mean that? I wouldn't have said it if I didn't. I want to be with you too, Langston. Now you can, now that you're not teaching my class. Actually, I am. After you blew me off, I got the dean to assign me to class again. And you can't get them to unassign you? Well, I already put the administration through a lot of grief. I don't know if I can make that change again. I thought we had a chance. Oh, well, we do. Look, we'll work this out, I promise. Really? You just kissed me and told me that you wanted to be with me. So yes, I'm not gonna mess this up. So what, we just won't tell anyone? Should be okay with that. I guess we could keep it quiet for a semester. It's not like we haven't done it before. Mm -hmm. We should celebrate. You're right, we should. Oh, but I, I can't, and not, not oh. tonight. I need it for a little while. No, I, um, I have to get home, and plus I don't want it to be like last time, having quickies whenever we can. Okay, right. No more quickies. That's a problem. I'm really glad you changed your mind. What can I say? You can be, um, very persuasive. You have no idea how much I want you. Are you sure, um, it won't be a problem, you being my teacher? I mean... All the rules about professors sleeping with their students. Don't worry. We'll make it work. Good. So I'll see you tomorrow? Mm hmm Yeah, I, I did go talk to James. Why? To tell me how much he loves you. And to make sure that I didn't still think something happened between you and me. I mean, to be honest, I... I mean, if I were in Cole's place, I would have done the same thing. Only I probably wouldn't have been as polite. So that's all that happened? Yeah. Yeah. It's obvious that Cole would do anything for you, and, uh, I mean, you're really lucky to have a guy like that. So, um, uh, you two don't mind, I'm gonna get a jump start on some homework. Sure. I'll see you later. Yeah, I'll see you later. The star. I am so sorry. Yeah, not cool. I, I know, I know. I get that now. You and James are friends. It's just that... Sorry, look at me. I 
love you so much. There's some, sometimes I just get crazy when I think that things aren't, aren't good between us. You know, but we're, we're gonna make things right, okay? All right, can you forgive me? Don't you get it? Get what? You will always be my football star with the heart of a poet. You're the only guy for me. Of course I forgive you.